Hi, it's Josh Goldberg here. If you have a person in your life that fits into the BPD personality category, make sure you stick around because in this video, I'm gonna highlight for you five key questions that will indicate to you the likelihood of the BPD person healing and overcoming their struggles. These five key questions are all very important, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. If the answers to these five questions are positive, then the BPD person is most likely on a good path of healing and self-improvement. It is not a guarantee though, as the BPD person still has to do their own healing and self-work, which takes no less than six to 12 months. If the answers to these five questions are not positive, then it is highly unlikely that the BPD person will improve and heal, and there's nothing really further that you can do. Remember, self-care is always number one. Question number one, are they currently in an abusive relationship with someone? The BPD person often has at least one abusive person that they're dealing with in their life, and they can even have an abusive person in their mind which they will paint onto a person in their life in order to validate themselves as the victim in their unresolved trauma narrative. If the BPD person has a toxic person that is regularly in contact with them, it is highly unlikely that they will have the space to get in touch with their unresolved childhood pain and be able to let go of it. Remember, toxic people enable and perpetuate the unresolved trauma of other people. So the BPD person has to be free of toxic people in order to heal and to make significant progress. Question number two, what support do they have? Does the BPD person currently have a therapist? And is the therapist experienced in successfully dealing with BPD? Are they seeking therapy as an individual, as couples therapy is certainly not effective in dealing with BPD and the unresolved trauma of an individual. Remember, the BPD person sees themselves as the victim in relationships. So trying to resolve the relationship issues that are being caused by the unresolved trauma in couples therapy is only going to result in you becoming the perpetrator and the BPD person becoming the victim. This certainly gets tiring and frustrating, so please don't get involved in this. The BPD person needs to address their past traumas and their childhood as an individual individual and with a competent therapist. Does the BPD person have other supportive people in their life, such as friend, colleagues, or other supportive groups? Remember that the BPD person's family are the environment that initially created the situation where the BPD was formed. So the BPD person's family are often not a reliable source of emotional support for the person. Sometimes the parents have done significant self-work, and in that case, the parents can be a reliable source of emotional support for the BPD person. So make sure you check on this one. Question number three, how motivated are they for positive change? Healing childhood traumas for the BPD person takes a lot of courage and motivation. They have to let go of the coping strategies that got them through their difficult childhood and they also have to let go of the victim identity. This can be very hard. So how motivated are they for positive change? Are they really wanting to create a more stable relationship with self and others? You can see their level of motivation by what you can actually see them doing in order to overcome their BPD and their past traumas. Don't just listen to what they say though, as this can be saying the right things in order to avoid healing. Question number four, are they needing medication to break through any emotional barriers? Sometimes the BPD person needs to be on the right medication in order to be able to get in contact with those childhood trauma emotions in order to be able to heal. I've seen this several times where the BPD person gets on the right medication and the healing and improvement path is greatly helped by it. This can take some trial and error as the field of psychotropic medications definitely has some guesswork and they should work with a doctor to try these medications if needed. Question number five, do they have the space that they need in order to make progress? Even if the BPD person is in a relationship with a stable spouse, sometimes they will need significant time and space in order to do the self-work exercises and the inner child work. Do they have a way to get this time and space when they need it? This might look like a day or so away from their partner or even some significant time away from from kids in order to be able to focus, to relax, and to do the self-work exercises and the required inner child work. So what are these five answers looking like for your situation with a BPD person? I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you would like more of this type of content. Take care of yourself and stay gold.